a key capture for U.S. special forces in Iraq. Iraqi intelligence officials say the head of the Islamic State Group's Chemical Weapons Unit was captured in a raid last month. This is a big win for Washington's more aggressive policy of pursuing the jihadis on the ground. Lauren Ashburn reports from the White House. This particular capture is a major victory for U.S. Special Forces. Last week, the White House said it had captured an ISIS leader but refused to identify him. And now defense officials say that his capture led to the bombing of two chemical weapons facilities. In December, the Obama administration deployed a commando force charged with capturing and killing ISIS leaders in Iraq. It was part of a new strategy to degrade and defeat ISIS. When asked if the White House is surprised at the chemical weapon capability developed by ISIS, Press Secretary Josh Earnest said they are reviewing the reports. If those reports are correct, uh, it would not be an outlier in terms of the tactics that we know that ISIL uses. We know that ISIL is an extremist organization that seeks to achieve their aims by terrorizing innocent people. The White House says to expect airstrikes targeting labs and equipment, and special forces are planning more raids targeting chemical experts. Brian? Lauren Ashburn at the White House. Thank you, Lauren.